Hi, my name's Keely. I'm a cuddle therapist, and I want to share with you a funny thing that happened in a client session the other day. First of all, I have permission to share this story, and I won't be sharing any specifics, but it's pretty delightful. I was in a session, and my client remarked about one of the reasons why I do this work. They were sharing their experience of some other things and said a bit off the cuff, like, well, and of course, I know you do this because it's the right thing to do in the world. And there was a brief pause, sort of a moment of check-in. And I said, nope, actually I don't. And of course, that was not the response that they were expecting. And so there is a tiny bit of a record scratch moment and like a, what? <laughs> but I went on to explain. First I asked, would you like me to explain a little bit more about why that doesn't actually feel true for me? And they invited me to, which was very generous. And here's what I explained. I don't do this work because it's the right thing to do. I don't do this work out of... <laughs> I'm a little nervous about admitting this out loud, but I don't do this work out of this huge altruistic sense of service to the world. I do this work because it is, because it is the thing that makes me feel the most right and alive and alive and fulfilled and in line with all of my values. It's entirely selfish. <laughs> the work that I do when I'm in session, it's not entirely selfish. But the reason why I do this is because cuddle therapy is the thing I was meant to do. It's the thing I was always meant to do. It is specifically selfish of me to do it in the world. I could be other things that are of service. I could be other things that make the world a better place. But this is the one that I choose because it's the most right for me. And here's the beautiful thing in that distinction and what sparked the rest of a really beautiful conversation that I won't share. There are so many ways to impact the world beautifully. There are so many ways to, what's that quote, be the change you wish to see. But the only one that won't be draining, the only one that will be right is the one you were meant to do is the one that resonates with the deepest truest parts of who you are and that can feel almost selfish but that's how you're going to actually live that value of goodness in the world it has to come from a place that honors all of who you are. And in order to do that, you kind of have to get to know all of who you are. All the good parts and all the uncomfortable parts and all the scary parts and all the embarrassing parts. Every part of you has to be invited to the table, have some kind of relationship with you so that you know what that is. And yeah, it can feel a little selfish. It's not this pure service altruism. If what you're doing feels purely like service, like you're pouring and pouring and pouring and pouring into the world, I would take that personally as a sign to adjust. I would take that personally as a good flashing a little flag, a little flashing sign that says, how can I find something? How can I honor myself a little bit better? How can I find the thing that makes, is the most right? And that's not to say it won't be challenging. It, challenges are fun. <laughs> it's not to say that it won't be hard work. Also hard work can be fun. But that for me is when I know, when I know what I'm doing is at the very least sustainable 
And it's when I notice that I make the most profound impact. It's when I notice that when I act, when I behave, when I do the work, it, it does make a change. It resonates. It, I'm going to say this thing and it sounds really grandiose and I hear it already that I'm saying it, but it makes miracles. I know that sounds really grandiose, but that's how it can feel. It's possible for it to feel that way. So thanks for letting me share that with you. And I hope you are building towards a relationship with yourself where you can find and honor whatever that thing is or things. Maybe it's multiple that you deserve to know and love all the parts of yourself and honor all of them so you can be that. If you like this video, one easy way to support me is to like and subscribe to my socials. I work really hard to create quality content so that cuddle therapy is more accessible and boundaries against that education more prevalent. I hope that it's been of benefit to you in some way. And as always, I hope you're getting your touch needs met.